yes guys these were some of the highlights from one of my previous video on the coffee with concept series that was with respect to coulomb's law and now in this video let us talk about the concept of electric field all right say you have a point charge plus q located anywhere in the medium or be it free space and then you have a test charge qt let's call the test charge as qt and that is placed at a location which is at a large distance with respect to the source charge and because the distance being large as per the coulomb's law the force between these two particles is going to be really small in fact negligible so negligible that this particular charge is not going to experience any significant force here or negligible force right now, if I bring, if I bring this test charge somewhere closer to the source charge, somewhere closer to this source charge, what happens? I have reduced the distance R between them. And because of this reduced distance, the force will be little bit significant now. So yes, now this test charge is going to experience some magnitude of force as per the Coulomb's law. Okay. What is going to be that force? The force is simply given by Ft, which is going to be Kq, Qt by R square. Now, the next important point is, is it necessary that the test charge has only to be at this, located to be at this point? Can I move it here? Can I move it here? Can I move it that side? Okay, can I move it here? Can I move it back side? Yes, guys. You can place the test charge anywhere around the source charge and yet it is going to experience the force. All right. So what basically it means here that if this is my source charge and I place test charge or any charge particle anywhere around this in a spherical region, that particular test charge is going to experience a force. This simply means that this particular source charge has a field. We can call it as a zone as well. Yes, it has a field around it known as the force field, commonly known as the electric field. So that when any charge particle comes inside this field, any charged particle comes inside this field, it is going to experience a particular amount of force. This is what is the concept of electric field. How do we formulate this? How do we actually define this? So now, to actually formulate this electric field, the convention taken is with respect to unit charge, normalizing with respect to the test charge. Yes, guys, as already we have seen that the force experienced by the test charge is given by Kq into qt divided by the r square now let us normalize with respect to the test charge or let us say that the qt is equal to 1 okay so let us normalize so if i divide ft by qt or i assume qt equal to 1 what is going to be left it is kq by r square so this force per unit charge this ft upon qt is going to be represented as the electric field formulation yes so what is basically the electric field of any source charge what is the source here i have explained you with respect to point charge it could be you know line uh, charge as well it could be spherical charge as well it could be surface charge okay slowly slowly you will keep on learning everything but yeah with respect to a point charge if i define the electric field which is basically defined as the force experienced by any charge test, test charge divided by the value of test charge is given by kq by r square where, where k is the 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught as you already know q is the source charge whose electric field is being measured and r is the distance of the point of observation with respect to the source charge okay the units of electric field as you know that it is force per unit charge so basically the first unit comes out to be newton for force and charge is coulomb so newton per coulomb so electric field is commonly measured in newton per coulomb but more commonly it is measured in the form of volt per meter because of its relation with electric potential that i'll explain you in the upcoming videos what potential is and what is the relation between electric field and electric potential okay now michael faraday developed very simple concept of describing and representing that electric field and that is why the virtue of electric field lines also known as the lines of force yes so what are these electric field lines these are imaginary hypothetical lines they are not some actual lines but they are just used to demonstrate the presence of electric field around the source yes as i already explained you just few minutes back that if this is my source charge okay you can place test charge anywhere around this that test charge is going to experience a force okay that means there is a field around this source charge where electric field is present okay there is a region where the electric field is present okay and because the source charge also here is positive Okay, for example, the test charge was also taken as positive. So, the force right now will be force of repulsion. That means with respect to this positive source charge, I can say that there are electric field lines which are always originating away from it. Okay, because the direction of force is outwards because of the repulsion. So, there are the electric field lines which are always originating away from it and in any direction around it. Similarly, okay, if we have the source charge as negative, 
considering positive test charge so yes for reference we uh, take the positive test charge only so suppose if the source charge is a negative charge so between the source charge and the test charge what is going to be there there is going to be force of attraction that means the test charge is going to be attracted towards this negative charge okay and it can be attracted from any direction okay it may not only come from here it can come from here it may come from where that means this representation can be made represented by incoming lines to the negative charge yes so if it is a negative test charge the electric field lines are shown coming towards it just like this particular picture okay one more very important point about the electric field that helps you to understand even the magnitude of electric field is the spacing between the field lines okay have a look into this diagram we know that electric field is a function of distance okay it is inversely proportional to the square of the distance so farther and farther you move lesser and lesser will be the electric field okay so now in this electric field light diagram okay let us highlight two points one is a another one is b and let me make two circles pass through it okay one circle passing through the point a okay centered at the uh, source charge another circle passing through the point b okay with the help of the circles you are able to observe and you are able to highlight that the spacing of lines okay the spacing of lines is less in case of the circle passing through a it is more in case of the circle passing through b Achha, try to also imagine where is going to be the electric field line more where is going to be the strength of electric field more the strength of electric field will be more at the point because that is closer to the source and because of the less distance more electric field will be there so what does it basically mean is that the electric field lines at least in the relative term is giving you the comparison of the electric field intensities yes like at the point a electric fields are closer okay electric field lines are closer and electric field strength is more okay so less spacing is giving you the more electric field okay so you have randomly two points in the space you can compare the compactness or the density of the field lines wherever the field lines are more closer more compact to each other there will be the higher value of the electric field against to the point that if at the point the electric field lines are far away okay at a far distance the electric field strength will be lower at that particular point and not only this we have talked about two very important things one what is the formulation of electric field and one what is the concept of the electric field lines but as a gate aspirant it is also very important to know ki how to handle the numericals from this particular topic and what level of numericals can be expected in gate or engineering services or any other competitive examination so i will also include one or two numericals so that not only you understand the concept but its application to the question so that you are fully prepared for the examination so let us move and understand a question how to deal with this electric field quest questions okay guys so as i mentioned not only the concept let us also learn the type of question and the approach okay that has to be there with respect to competitive exams like gate and ese but also at the same time one important point is key what is the vector form of electric field that also i'm going to brief you with this particular explanation okay so yes guys we know that electric field if we talk about the magnitude as i already explained you in this video it is given by kq by r square okay but what is the vector form of electric field since it is coming up from the coulomb's law only so electric field in the vector form is given by kq by r square kq by r square into r hat or which can also be written as kq by r cube into the vector r into the vector r because you know the r hat is always vector r divided by its magnitude now what is this vector r vector r is the vector joining the source point to the point of observation vector r is the vector okay from source to the observation from the source to the point of observation now let us understand this to this question okay so we have a question in front of us calculate electric field intensity at some point 3 comma 4 comma 5 due to a charge of 5 nano coulomb that is placed at the point 1 comma 2 comma 3 in the free space so that is what is the picture there is a point a 1 comma 2 comma 3 at which the charge is placed okay let's say that is the point a and then we have a point of observation 3 comma 4 comma 5 this is what is my observer my point of observation and this is what is the source okay so we have a source and we have the point of observation first of all let us find out the vector ap which is like the vector r as i mentioned in the previous formula okay that is the vector joining the point to the a to the point p and what is the formula for vector joining the point a to the point p it is given by position vector of second point minus first point that is op minus oa okay solving it up okay corresponding x to x component subtracted 3 minus 1 will be 2 similarly y component also 4 minus 2 will be 2 z component also will be 5 minus 3 that is equal to 2 so that is why we have 2 ax 
टू ए वाई एंड टू ए जेड राइट ओके लेट एस ऑल्सो फाइंड आउट द लेंथ ऑफ दिस वेक्टर ओके द लेंथ ऑफ दिस वेक्टर ए पी विच इज ऑल्सो सॉरी दिस इज लाइक वेक्टर आर This is the magnitude of the vector r. That is known as the letter r. Okay, that is the modulus of this vector, and modulus of the vector is root over x square plus y square plus z square. So it turns out to be root twelve or two root three. Putting this in the electric field formula. Okay, so I have everything printed so that we save time here. Okay, electric field as I told you is k q by r square. So k q by a p square. Okay, a p hat, and then okay, then it will be k q. By a p cube into the vector a p. Where what is the vector a p? What is the length a p? Everything we have calculated. So let us just substitute the values. Okay. So k in the free space because it was clearly mentioned that the medium is free space. So k is one upon four pi epsilon naught, which is nine into ten power nine. Multiply the charge, which is five nano coulomb, the five into ten power minus nine. A p is two root three, so a p cube. Then the vector a p two a x plus two a y plus two is it? Okay, nothing, guys. Uh, just simplify the numbers. Calculations everybody can do. Just after calculating, you are going to get this value: two point one six a x plus a y plus a z volt per meter. That is going to be your final answer, right? Two point one six a x plus a y plus a z volt per meter. Okay. If they ask you what is the electric field intensity, if they only ask the magnitude. Right, then you can calculate 2.16. Okay, into the square root of one square plus one square plus one square. That is going to be 2.16 is multiplied by root three. But if they only ask the magnitude, the moral of the story is, if they were only asking the magnitude of electric field, only the intensity of the electric field, then you need not go to the vector formula. Then you can only calculate this formula, k cube by r square. Okay, so that you can find directly. So it depends what is that they are asking in the question. This is one type of numerical expected for competitive exam. Next, some of the let me give you one more question idea here because some of the questions are logical and mostly direction oriented rather than calculation oriented. Have a look into this. Okay, and and it's a, it's a MSQ question also because you know gate has you know the MSQ pattern also now. So point charge is located at origin. At the point a comma a, electric field is E one. There is some more point a minus a comma a, the electric field will be E two. And at another point minus a comma minus a, electric field will be E three. Which of the following is or are correct? मतलब because it is a multiple select question, one or more can be correct. So let's have a look into the first diagram. Let us draw the diagram corresponding to it. So there is a charge located at the origin. Okay, yeah, let's. Move to the diagram. This is the charge that is located at the origin, and there is the point a comma a. Of course, first quadrant minus a comma a, second quadrant minus a comma minus a, third quadrant, and the electric fields are E one, E two, and E three correspondingly. Very clearly, guys, what should be this particular angle? What should be this particular angle? Okay, it is. If you, even if you solve by trigonometry, it is tan inverse height upon base. Height is also a, base is also a, so it becomes one and tan inverse one is forty-five degree. Similarly, this will also become forty-five degree. Okay, total semicircle angle, total straight line angle is one eighty. So how much will be this angle? This will be ninety. One eighty minus forty-five and minus forty-five. So that very clearly means that e one and e two are perpendicular to each other. So that is why their dot product will be zero. Dot product of perpendicular vectors is. Zero. So e one dot e two is zero. That is one of the correct option. Also, very clearly, e one and e three. What is the angle between them? They are on a straight line, but opposite direction. They are anti-parallel. They are what? Anti-parallel, having an angle of one eighty degree between them. Okay. That is why they are cross product. Because in the cross product, we there is sine theta, right? And sine one eighty would be zero. So here, cross product will be zero. E one cross e three will be zero. So that is also one of the option. We will go back to the option and tick mark. Also, one more important point is all the three points. Okay, whether you talk about suppose this point A and B and C, all are equidistant from the source. This is the source which is located at the origin, zero comma zero, right? So, how do you calculate the distance? Root over a square plus a square. Here also root over a square plus a square because minus a square is a square. Here also same distance, root over a square plus a square. So, distance of all the three points from the source is same. And what is the magnitude of electric field? Magnitude of electric field is simply k q by r square. So we are talking about with respect to same source. So q is the same, and r is same for all the three points. Okay, r is same for all the three points, and that is why magnitude of electric field E one as well as E two as well as E three. Okay, they will not electric fields won't be equal because their directions are different, but at least the magnitude part will be equal for all. Okay, this is also one of the correct observation. And now let us move back to the options, guys. Okay, so this MSQ question, what are the correct options? Correct options. E one dot E two is equal to zero, yes sir. Right sir, very correct. E one dot E two is equal to zero. 
Okay, next, even cross E3 is 0, so hence its magnitude is also 0. Even dot E3 is 0? No, right. And modulus of all the three electric fields are equal. So, what is the correct answer for the MSQ question? It is A as well as B as well as D. Okay, one or more than one can be correct. So, this is what, you know, this is on the basic understanding on direction and the basic knowledge of the electric field formulation. But this can be like a two marker level of MSQ question in the gate examination. So, hope you have understood that. Okay, hope you might have understood that how the level of the questions can be. This was a very small video trying to give you the concept, the ideology of electric field. Okay, and also a slight discussion about the questions with respect to it. Okay, and I hope you have understood the video. If you have really liked the video, do not forget to hit the like button, show your love, show your attentiveness. And also, if you are really enjoying our channel and want more such videos, we are having live videos, recorded videos like this, non-technical maths aptitude video, general informative video, everything is there. So do not forget to subscribe to the Baiju's exam prep. Thank you for watching the video. One last request as always that please do mention in the comment box how you like this video. Okay, so that I can really know how much you are learning from this and accordingly I'll plan my future videos. Bye-bye. Thank you. Stay safe and take care.